We're back once again doing another Rule 34 tier list, but this time we are doing Street Fighter, one of the most popular fighting games of all time, up there with MK11 and Tekken. But when it comes to Street Fighter, Street Fighter has a way of making top tier waifus to the point where you like... After you're done with a match playing a female character, you just want to go on Route 34 and jerk your meat to one of these waifus. And that's me. You know, I started playing Street Fighter uh, when Street Fighter V first came out. And honestly, I fell in love with the game. But the more I played the game, the more I noticed that Street Fighter really takes their time making these Greek beautiful sculptures of women and honestly route 34 does not hold back we got characters like chun li into fortnite which skyrocketed route 34 or street fighters you know hype way higher so this is going to be way more difficult than usual tier list that i do for route 34 but um we're going to do characters for street fighter 5 and characters that i remember on street fighter 4 so if i forget your waifus the ones in the bottom i'm sorry but I'm taking this real seriously. I did. I just did the deed. So this is post nut clarity. But I have been doing my research for the whole day. But let's begin. Starting off the tier list, we have a character that I wish was in Street Fighter V, and that's Viper. She is super underrated when it comes to waifu. She is kind of that, you know, type of girl where she's like a badass fucking teacher that you low-key want to smash, but you know she's way out of your league. And if you even smash, she's probably going to put the strap on and fuck you. But when it comes to Rule 34, only having 600 pages, which is kind of crazy. Like, if you really think about it, characters like these that are not even in Street Fighter, like the newest Street Fighter, and people are still making Rule 34 content, is crazy. But again, I'm going to put it into the mid butt smash just because there is content. I feel like she is super underrated just because she's not in the newest Street Fighter. If she's in Street Fighter 6, I'm telling you right now, her content is going to skyrocket. So she goes into mid, but I would smash. Lord have mercy on my soul because if anyone disagrees, you guys can leave the video right now. I already put her up here. Jury is going into S tier, God tier as a character wise and a Route 34 character wise. I love Jury so much. I might be biased, but even me, I'm so happy that she has so much content on Route 34 because she deserves it. Listen, I'll be getting up from my chair right now and being so hyped and I'm wearing boxers and I'm going to get demonetized. First of all, we all like that crazy type of girl in every fighting game or even in real life. We always like a little bit of crazy and Jury just keeps it right there. And especially the creators know it. They always put something with feet. In Street Fighter 6, everything Jury does is feet. A feet outro, feet intro. I love Jerry. And Jerry started OnlyFans and she was only posting feet. I'll be her top subscriber, her donator, whatever you guys want to call me a simp. I'm going to be a simp for Jerry. All right. I don't even like feet like that. But for some reason, when Jerry does it, it's just fucking hot. It's just attractive. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to be her, her top OnlyFans subscriber. It's just feet, man. I'm, I'm telling you. But if you guys disagree, y'all can just click off the video right now. But if y'all agree with me, leave a like. Because, you know, Jerry fans, we got to stand up. And the concept of Rule 34 on Jury, it's just so fucking good. It's like every video I I watch of Jury, it's like a storyline. She's either getting blackmailed, she's either doing it because she wants to, but for some reason you don't want to, like, the fuck? Jury, straight S tier, don't want to hear it. This is what I mean when it comes to Street Fighter. They know how to make female characters so attractive and even introduce new characters that sometimes can even overtake characters that have been on Street Fighter 1. This is my Brazilian fucking queen, and she's going into queen tier just because she doesn't belong in in, in the jury, you know, the god tier, the queen level. She's still A tier, if that makes sense. She's right up there. Maybe she has a little bit more time, and maybe she's in Street Fighter 6. She might skyrocket, but for right now, we've always seen that, like, ad or that hentai video where she's fucking this dude on the couch. I always remembered, I always, that's like the, and that shit is stuck in my mind. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back <laughs> on Route 34, but God fucking damn it. They made a Brazil. I'm pretty sure she's Brazilian, a Brazilian queen is so fucking good, and she's even really fun and really OP in Street Fighter Five. so... Smash level. Search it up. Search it up. Lauren Rar. Bruh, chill. Next up, we have a female character that low-key made me change my ways when it comes to muscular women. Street Fighters, probably. This is the first time I ever saw a muscular woman and was kind of attractive. But we, and we, we also can't even talk about how Street Fighter makes Mika be one of the most sexual characters in the game. And I'm going to have to put her mid, but smash. On Rule 34, she has some really good content. Honestly... Mika could really skyrocket if her whole character, I know she's supposed to be a wrestler, but that skin 
where she's a schoolgirl makes her so fucking top notch. I wish more content creators for Route 34 would use that skin more when it comes to hentai videos. But Mika, when it comes to muscular women, is so fucking good. It's very hard. It's very, very hard for Street Fighter characters to be ugly. But for Mika to be, I am hope I'm saying her name right, for her to be muscular, buff as hell, like fucking like The Rock or like, I don't know, someone, someone brawling. <laughs> but she looks good, man. And, you know, the amount of ass cheeks, booty moves that she has makes her top tier. But she goes to mid but smash. What we're talking about is Rose. Now, here's the thing about Rose that I find very weird. Rose is one of those Street Fighter characters that is super down low on the radar. Like, it, you only find videos of her if you literally go out of your way to search up Rose, but when it comes to Street Fighter and just like, you know, going on the Street Fighter page and just like, you know, doing your research, going down, um, you will never see Rose. It's kind of hard to see Rose. Maybe when the time I was doing it, I think I went to like page 50, just me scrolling while doing my deed. I couldn't find Rose as much. Maybe I overpassed her. But again, when it comes to Route 34, I would want to put her higher because Rose is a very attractive woman, but I'm gonna have to put her into regret at the post night like, clarity because in route 34 she's not that she's not that good she's not there like everyone else next up we have basic but still a queen level it is sakura for me she's going into the queen level just because her content on route 34 is actually top notch i think she has over 3,000 videos or pictures on route 34 which is kind of good i think sakura is kind of basic in my opinion but i can't lie she's still <laughs> on route 34 they make her look so fucking good for me i would put her lower maybe into mid but hey route 34 speaks and route 34 loves sakura and i'm gonna have to put it into queen level but for me if i was making a tier list on top notch waifus and not route 34 she would be lower but route 34 loves her so she's going to queen level this is probably one of the worst and most annoying characters in Street Fighter. She is basically the rich, snobby, um, brat type of girl, which you would think on Route 34, you know, that type of girl, you know, when they're like super bratty and you demolish them, when you clap their cheeks to turn them into being submissive, you would think that Street Fighter or Route 34 content creators will make more content of Karen, but they don't. And the reason is because there's no reason to. She is basically the Walmart version of Cammy, which where is she right now? Cammy is just way better in every single scenario. Maybe because a lot of blonde characters, let's let's say when you compare Cammy and Karen next to each other in the game, not in this photo, kind of looks weird, but in the game, they kind of do look similar. But why would you, if you're into blondes, why would you go out of your way to do the deed with Karen when you have Cammy right next to you. There's no reason to jerk your meat to a low tier woman when there's a high tier woman right next to you. This is why she suffers so much when it comes to Route 34. Only having 24 pages on Street Fighter is bad. But we can't listen. We're talking about Cammy here, right? You guys saw where I put her. Cammy is going into the S tier. She's perfect. She is a perfect fucking woman. Strong. Always showing skin. Ass cheeks basically out. Like, come on. What better would you want? <laughs> Cammy, when it comes to Route 34, the content, it's so fucking good. When it comes to top three waifus, she is up there when it comes to Street Fighter. It's not even funny. She's going to SD or Karen. You're just a Walmart virgin. You're like Jake Paul. All the way down. Falky, Falk, I don't know her name. I play Street Fighter. I even have the character bot and I still don't remember her name. She's going into the regret after post night clarity. Um basically no content for her. Um another blonde character that again, um these two characters, Cammy and this fucking beautiful wrestling bitch. <laughs> Just way better. It feels like when it comes to Street Fighter. Topping characters that are blonde especially have a really, really hard time. And also, she doesn't really look anything special compared to, you know, Cammy <laughs> and another wrestler bitch. But um, nothing special. I like how I was talking all this shit about Colleen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I like how I was talking all that shit about blondes, but low key, Colleen has a place in my heart. And also, I wish we had more content for her. But again, on Route 34, it isn't the best, but it feels wrong putting her down into regret after posting her clearly. So I'm going to put it in mid. Colleen, again, was a character I think shown in Street Fighter 3 as a non playable character. And I remember wa like, watching her gameplay. I was like, damn, I want to play this character. Or damn, this character looks so fucking good. Um, She's a Russian baddie. Like, I, there's nothing to say about it. Colleen is actually kind of attractive, even though she's wearing Russian fucking clothing all the time. You know, Russia is super fucking cold. But, like, you can tell she got the curve. She got that nice body. So, I'm going to have to put Colleen into the mid of Butt Smash. But, again, Route 34 content, you won't find it as much as these queens up here. But there's some. Um, I just wish we had better and more. She deserves to be down here when it comes to Route 34, but for me, I'm biased. I'm going to put her into mid, but smash. I don't think anything's worse. <laughs> I don't think anything's worse. I'm so biased, but she's going into regret after posting that character. There is no content for this girl. Only 15 pages, again, for Street Fighter. That's super bad. Don't even remember her name, Um, but she's okay, I guess. Like, if you like this type of character, I mean, go search it up, but nothing special, especially on Route 34. There's barely anything. Next up, we got a very controversial whoa well, can't even say controversial <laughs> controversial character that for me i'm very mixed about and that's poison she has a decent amount of pages 70 pages is pretty fucking good um the thing is is that they always most of the time they draw poison with a cock <laughs> i don't know what to feel about it because i don't roll that way but there's some good ass content so i'm gonna put it into the the Fuck, man, where should I put her, bro? I'm going to put it into mid because I'm really thinking about it. But, like, the cock thing is just bothering me. Listen, there's a lot of good versions of Poison. Like, I don't like the way they made her in Street Fighter V. I honestly think she's way too brolic. Not, like, like good, like, you know, wrestling-type female characters. But, like, I'm talking about, like, she looks way too brolic. And it doesn't make her as attractive. Maybe they were going for that way. But I have seen other versions of Poison. And she looks way better. Maybe that's just me. But Poison's going into mid. If you like cocks. <laughs> and you like, well, females with cocks. Then go right ahead. The content is there. There's also versions of her without the cock. Which is pretty fucking good. So I'm going to put it into mid. I hope you guys have been watching me, you know, putting this female character to the back because we already know where she's gonna be but i'm gonna go a little bit crazy so i'm leaving her into the end last but not least i'm sorry i don't know the rest of the characters and i don't want to go out of my way to do my research <laughs> evil king ninjas everyone loves ninjas i like ninjas does Route 34 love ninjas i guess not because she only has 20 pages not nothing uh again special uh for me i would prefer her having more but um, it feels wrong putting her up with these queens, but honestly, for me, I really wish out of like all the characters here, like anything that's below here, I wish was higher. Was Ibuki like she deserves to be higher? Like she looks like a queen, she deserves to be in queen level. But Route Thirty Four does not give a fuck. If I was making a waifu tier list, like I said before, she would go higher. But Route Thirty Four does not give a fuck. So, we're ending off the video there. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry. I'm chilling. I'm joking. I'm joking. Next up. Everyone, put your hands together for one of the best queens of all time. She's even in Fortnite. So, that just shows that she is amazing. Chun Lee, everybody. Chun fucking Lee. The girl that has the hips, the legs. This is the fucking female character that made every guy, every guy turn into... I like legs more than ass. Chun Li, even in Street Fighter Six, the newest Street Fighter is gonna come out. She looks so fucking amazing, especially when she does her hukototin. Um, when she uh, shoots that spirit bomb, the fucking curves of the hip, it is ridiculous. When it comes to gods themselves making characters, video game characters, God Himself designed. Chun Li, and that's why she's all the way up into Esther. There's a reason why she is one or is the most popular fucking female character of all time when it comes to video games. Chun Li 
deserves to be in God fucking T. And I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with me. And even on Route 34, Street Fighter designs, um, Fortnite designs of Chun Li getting her booty clap. Like, come on, bro. There's nothing better. Chun Li straight. S tier. Honestly, I should make a new tier and put her way higher than everyone else. But for me, I'm more of a jury fan. It feels wrong. <laughs> it feels wrong. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. Y'all can tell me in the comments who do you guys think should be higher? What do you guys think should be lower? And again, like, subscribe. Also, comment down below what's another Route 34 content video you guys want to see me do. I, you know, been going out of my way, going on Route 34 every single day doing my post nut clarity content i think i deserve you guys to leave a like and subscribe hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later with some more content in the future baby peace love y'all